So this is the last week of session. I wanted to give an update. I sent five bills over to the Senate, and I'm pleased to say four of them passed and are on their way to the governor. The suicide prevention bill passed. Of course, that's a bill about saving lives because we know early intervention can help prevent suicide. Also passing was the juvenile gun bill, which is getting early intervention around treatment to young offenders to help keep our community safe. We also had a bill around helping victims of the sex trade to make sure they get the help they need to rebuild their lives. And the final bill was a veterans protection bill, which really is about making sure we're providing protections to our vets and their families while they're serving. So again, those bills are on the way to the governor, and I'm really pleased that with a lot of help, those move forward. Also this session right now, we're having budget negotiations. I'm very pleased to report that the House budget had a lot of great items, including COLAs for teachers. We also had a capital budget request to build more classrooms to help reduce class size. Another example of things that aren't in the other budget that are being negotiated is support to help families that are homeless. So again, this week we'll be negotiating the budgets and trying to reach an agreement so we can all head home back to our communities. Also today, I wanted to have you see Mary Soderlin. Of course, many of you know her. We've been working together six years. I want to say thank you, Mary, so much for all the help you provide our office. And there's no way I could do what I do without Mary's support. But Mary, can you say a little bit about what some of the challenges of your job are? I think it's challenging to meet all of the demands each day that are very time sensitive while balancing all of the other things that you want to make sure don't slip through the cracks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and what do you think is the best part of your job? Mm, meeting wonderful, interesting people all day long. Well, I just want to say thank you for your work. And I'm really, again, when you contact my office, you're most likely, as always, to talk to Mary. And we want to encourage you to keep sending emails and messages our way. Thank you.